Hi, I'm Matt Casamassina. I'm the editor-in-chief of IGN Wii, and I'm here to talk about Super Mario Galaxy, which is my game of E3. I'm going to tell you why it's so intuitive, why it's so fun, and why you lose yourself as soon as you pick up the Wii remote and start playing. Right, so going into E3, Mario was a mystery. We didn't know if it was really going to be there or playable or what. When we finally saw it, it clicked as one of those games for the hardcore crowd. And Nintendo really showed off a lot of uh, mainstreamy, uh, sort of non-gamery titles for Wii. And Mario a Galaxy, in contrast, was a game strictly, specifically designed for the hardcore crowd. And I think it clicked for a lot of gamers like myself. Yeah, I feel almost dirty saying it because Nintendo loves this company line, but really playing is believing. And when I did pick up the Wii Remote and actually went hands-on with Galaxy, uh, I became a believer. Ugh. It almost makes me feel you know, sick to say it, but it's true. It's one of those games where the Wii Remote doesn't overpower or distract from the experience. You just sort of use it, it's there, and you don't think about it. And it becomes a really intuitive, fun platformer because of it. So right off the bat, you can tell there are a number of differences from this game and Sunshine, obviously setting being number one. But Nintendo solved a number of technical issues too, including a, a camera problem that was present in Sunshine is no longer here in, in the Galaxy. Uh, you run around this, you know, galaxy, this space environment, you're jumping from planet to planet, and the camera's never a problem. You don't control it, it's, it's done automatically, it never gets in the way, you just don't think about it. And the same is true of the controller, you just, it, it's there, you point, you pick up items, you direct Mario around, but it's never something you have to think about. It just, it just works and it feels good. And I think that's why Galaxy, in my opinion, is, is the game that really demonstrates this device better than any other. I don't think it's any secret that Galaxy is my game of the show. I was drawn to it again and again at E3. I kept playing it over and over. In fact, whenever I got some free time, I went back and checked it out again. One of these times, um, we had a private demo with Nintendo where I got to do audio commentary as I played, sort of explain everything as we're going through it. And so uh, we've been holding on to that for a little while, but uh, check it out now. We've got it here. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Matt Casamassina. I'm the editor-in-chief of IGN Wii, and I'm here to show you Super Mario Galaxy. So uh, I'm going to take you through it, and you can see I'm here running around on a what looks like a bit of an asteroid, and uh, what you can't see is what I'm, how I'm controlling the game, so I'm going to explain it to you. Basically, I'm moving the analog stick on the nunchuck unit to move Mario around, and you can see here I am moving in a circle, and on screen you see a little star, and that is what I am moving with the Wiimote. You can see I can do whatever I want with it, and uh, that's just me twirling the Wiimote right now. However, I can also at any time I physically like really fastly twirl it, and Mario will do a spin like this. And you can see the uh, the icon on screen of the star is just going all over the place too. That's because I'm moving the remote all around. Now, meanwhile, the, some of the standard Mario stuff still applies, like the triple jump. You know, I can do that if I get if I have enough space here. Whoa! Don't want to fall in there, I'll die. But you know, three presses of the A button on the Wii mode, and that'll happen. Meanwhile, you can see these things are chasing me around, and what I want to do in this puzzle is lead them around and crash them into the objects like this star here. I'm not going to do it yet because I want to show you a couple other things like this. I can actually grab onto this thing and slow it down. Look. Hello, you're not coming after me now. So I just, I have, I'm holding it in place while I position Mario. Whoa, gotta be careful. And uh, you can do this with a bunch of stuff in the level. Like if there are star shards around, you can see I'm controlling the, the Wiimote. I can basically grab, whoa, I don't want to fall in there. Whoopsie. Well, you know, I explained that uh, that was an accident, uh, but I blame it on the fact that I'm, uh, I'm commentating here. So anyway, uh, yeah, what you want to do is you can come up here, watch this, and you can, uh, you know, get coins and stuff that way. Whoa, careful. Alright, so this thing's gonna follow me now. Come here, you. Hello, 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 hello. And crash. And so the game feels really intuitive because, well, first of all, it's, it's out there because look at this. As you can see, I'm running around a, basically a full 360 uh, object. And uh, uh, gravity plays a part. You can see Mario gets farther away from the, this moon the more I jump. Uh, well, you can't really see it, but if I can pull the triple jump. Alright, so. Now we're gonna get the star, just follow me. Here you go, get over here. You can see I'm directing him toward me. Now I, all I have to do is lead him to the star and I have to find it. It's somewhere on this, there we are. Bam. And by spinning the stars, you can send Mario off via uh, something like Sonic, just shooting all over, all over space. And look, I can grab stuff here, if it were out there. And uh, now we're gonna fight a boss. And uh, 
Kind of like Shadow of the Colossus, the, the bosses in this game seem to be pretty darn big. Look at this guy. All right, well, I'm going to fight this guy, but uh, this game is awesome. Look forward to it. This is Matt Casamassina signing off. Thank you so much for playing my game.